to my channel <laughs> it would help if i put the mic to my mouth <laughs> let me fix it up here hello welcome back to my channel my name is ashley i'm going to do another what's in your energy spread for you all this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising and venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have virgo in your chart very important to remember this will not resonate with all virgos out there take what resonates leave what doesn't and if it is not your story my lovelies it is simply simply not your story please 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 do not force it as I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel such as healing generational curses and childhood trauma let's see what we got going on my lovelies oh I got the chills oh I got the chills so bad uh we're going to be looking into your energy your surrounding and the mutual most likely outcome or what's to come gosh, I just had a blank. I had deja vu. And then I just had like a blank. Like I was like, did I say that? What did I just say? I have no idea what the heck that was. I'm using my mermaid tarot deck. If you'd like to donate a deck to the channel, you can. My Amazon wish list is below. Also, for those of you wanting like a cheap tarot deck, uh, or affordable, I should say on Sheen, um, I found some decks for like $4. So y'all check that out. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, my loves. This is your energy. This is your surrounding. That is freaking hot. And this is the mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. Virgos. This is hot, 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 hot. I'm going to start here in your energy, my loves. You have the two of swords, the four of cups, the page of swords, and the ace of wands. I just heard it's not over till it's over. Ooh, I got the chills. <laughs> it's not over until it's over now i'm hearing that song by drake and stupid kim kardashian um i'm not a fan but what does she say what does she say what's a little quote that he uses in that song it's called rescue or, or search and rescue it says come and rescue me but then she says, I didn't come this far to just come this far and not be happy. And that's what I'm feeling, my loves. It's not over till it's over. There's something very strange about that situation there, okay? It's not over till it's over. The Two of Swords and the Four of Cups. You're very confused about something. I just heard, could it be? I saw someone pop their head out the bush and be like, could it be? Ooh, I got the chills. The Two of Swords. Two of Swords is confusion. It's in your head. It's overthinking, overanalyzing, not really sure on what to do, not having clarity, having misdirection, feeling like there's some blockages or feeling like there's some words left unsaid. Remember, swords are communication. There's some words or some things left unsaid. I just heard the scribbles. Oh, I got the chills. I heard the scribbles. I got the chills and I have no idea why. I feel like there's two options for some of you as well. Two different people maybe. Something about an Aquarius. Maybe even a Sagittarius. I'm getting that energy for some reason. Whatever it is, there is confusion. Okay, especially with Sagittarius and Aquarius energy, this could mean beliefs and what others think of you okay Aquarian rules collective Sagittarius is morals beliefs religion things like that spirituality I just heard fighting what you feel or saving face fighting what you feel or saving face there could be some sort of lesson in humility here for some of you. With the Four of Cups here, my loves, this is disappointment. This is sadness. This can sometimes mean so. This can sometimes mean regret. It can also mean rejection, hopeless, helpless, reminiscing, and depressed. Someone's on a binger. Ooh, chills all up and down my body. Someone is on a binger or a bender. 
Okay. I think you might know who this person is. Are you... You feel like there's someone who's hurting Virgo in your or in your energy or surrounding energy. Perhaps you're confused on how to help this person for some of you. I just keep hearing that words left unsaid, words left unsaid. With the Page of Swords here, there's something about, I can't, I'm sorry, loves, if you hear my kids screaming upstairs, he's playing a game, but I'm really sorry, but I can't help but think that there's like an argument or like some tense words coming or possibly tense words the last time you spoke. That's what I feel like words left unsaid. Words left unspoken. All I heard was, all you do is lead me on. Things will never be the same. Y'all remember that song? I don't know if you know this artist, John Young. But it's called Playing Over Playing These Games or something like that. And that's what he says in that song. I just heard that part play. With the Page of Swords, this is the stalker card, my loves. This is someone keeping an eye on you. This is a looky-loo. It definitely is someone who is watching you or keeping an eye, which is what I think we've been hearing in your past readings, Virgo. But it's not like Pat, like it, it's not like an obvious thing. Do you see the hole and the light is shining? They're looking at you from afar. Could be social media. Could be word of mouth. Could be. Um, maybe they've seen you driving or out and about or something like that. Ooh, I got the chills. Um, but this is someone keeping an eye on you, okay? But this is also immature communication or premature communication or maybe a premature decision, okay? It could be that you're really overthinking this and you really don't want to make the wrong move, say the wrong thing, make the wrong mistake. But I also feel strongly like this is someone to you, Virgo. I feel like you're in your head and this person is in their head, but I also feel like these words left unsaid is what this person is feeling towards you, Virgo. I do. I think you might be open to a conversation, but I don't think you're going to initiate it. And with the Ace of Wands here in reverse, this is something sizzling up. This is a fire burning. This is also like tension, I feel. The Ace of Wands is closing a chapter, no new beginning, not feeling motivated, not really feeling like you have that drive to go after it. And it's right under this Four of Cups, okay? The, f the fire is still lit, but it's like slowly becoming less and less dim. Something about bad nerves, bad nerves. I feel strongly like there's something going on here health-wise for someone. Someone is really losing it health-wise. And I don't, I'm not seeing mental health. It could be mental health for sure, but I think someone is like on the like verge of a, like a breakdown or a meltdown or like just a verbal spat. I really feel like someone's going to blow soon. I don't feel it's you, Virgo. I feel like it's whoever this person is for you, okay? Um, I'm curious. Yep, I said, I'm curious. Is that exactly what's happening? Six of Pentacles in reverse, yep. Things are coming to a level playing field and things are definitely going to balance out, but I do feel like someone, is it this person? The five of chalices, cups, and the seven of pentacles in reverse. Someone is mourning that they don't have their time, your time and energy anymore.
perhaps this is you Virgo but I feel strongly like whoever is going through like some weird mental spiral yep I said is it a mental spiral yep the wheel of fortune absolutely the wheel something is going 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 only it's going a little too fast I do feel like this person is going to blow very soon are they going to reach out to Virgo seven of wands no you might have this person blocked and for a reason this <sighs> no you you may not hear from this person because you may have this person blocked or this person may feel like they are blocked they have words to say but they cannot get away from their demons there's something going on here with them i'm telling you there's a lot of dark energy around them for some reason right now uh, they yeah they're going through something whoever that is for you virgo over here in you remember i said this was really hot their energy is very potent i almost said pungent someone is like not showering not taking care of themselves over drinking over smoking whatever it is they have a very um pungent smell or odor or essence to them at the moment could just be awful energy with the three of pentacles nine of cups six of pentacles and the wheel of fortune we just got those two in your surrounding energy my lovelies i think some of y'all need to be focusing on work some of y'all need to be focusing on work some of y'all need to be focusing on your career on getting your money up but in a positive like um in a not a negative way but like doing something you love to make there's new streams of income coming in is what i'm feeling how do i say like you need to focus on your money but a new stream of income for some reason okay the three of pentacles this is work this is collaboration this is um helping hands this is teamwork this is quite literally finances and creative ventures and you know when i say creative ventures this means painting creating i almost said bonding i don't know what that means but bonding <laughs> um creating your own brand brandishing something brandishing a title is what i almost said um but the three of pentacles talks about putting in that work to make things happen to make things come together to complete a project but this nine of cups here is telling me it has something to do with something you love, something you're comfortable doing. A lot of y'all, especially Virgos, you're not built for a nine to five. You are, a lot of Virgos are meant to be entrepreneurs, right? Or can do something with writing, with creative ventures, something with their lungs, with their words, with, with um, their hands. It has to be something you love and something you're comfortable doing and something you can create. That is where the magic is going to happen for you. I see that so strongly. Wishes are brewing. It's just a matter of which cup you're going to drink from first. There's a lot of streams of income that are coming in that are going to start coming in as long as you're putting in that work. Some of y'all, I know it's hard with the holidays, but there's something about creating something right now creating something now I remember my loves mercury we're already in shadow period for mercury retrograde old exes old traumas old triggers old flings old flames coming back scorpio will be venus will be in scorpio december 4th pretty much all the month of december it's gonna be a rough month okay um or a very sensual month but with mercury retrograde literally old exes old flings old traumas old flames old secrets scorpio rule secrets they may arise especially if you are um distancing from a partner if you're with a new one it might you know it just depends um i'm gonna do a special for your birth chart to see how the month of december looks for you it's gonna be 25 dollars. if you want to check that out on my channel go ahead and do so i'll look at your birth chart and where the planets are and how these transits are affecting you for the month of december put down below if you guys want me to start doing um like the 2024 yearly predictions for you i think i'm going to start offering that just for december and january 
If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, check out my website, lunajadebotanica.com. That's in the comments below. And my Etsy, that's in the description. And you could book a reading, purchase my candles, purchase a bird chart, look at my specials. I still have the 1111 one question reading for you all. So go ahead and um, take advantage of that. My lovelies in the mutual energy, eight of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles. Ooh, someone is stubborn. Someone does not know how to communicate or someone does not want to communicate. Okay, there is... There's something that needs to be released and let go. I just heard you're at odds here. You're at odds here. What are the odds you're at odds here? The Eight of Wands in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Eight of Wands means no communication, no airway communication, no forward movement, no advancing, no... Oh, damn, I just heard traveling back in time. No traveling back in time here. And with the Four of Pentacles, releasing. Some of you, this is a lesson learned in regards to how to budget or how to spend your finances or how to work on things, okay? For some of you, it could be a relationship that needs to be released, that energy, fire energy, or earth. Um, and then for some of you, I think it's saying we're not moving you forward until you release something. We're at a standstill until you let go of something or until you make up your mind about something and get to work. All right? eye on the prize Virgos that's what they're saying keep your eye on the prize so we could get this ball rolling again because under the deck six of swords forward movement out of the storm out of the chaos out of destruction destructive patterns we gotta keep on moving just keep on focusing on your day-to-day -day tasks Virgo look again three of cups friends focus on the positives focus on celebrating focus on the good not the bad leo energy here because if you focus on the bad or the past it dims your spirit down and that's where you get in this energy of confusion and we don't want you there the three of wands means better things are coming the empress in reverse and you never want to look back at the past you want to move forward expansion grace how can i grow from this and that's when you actually win and cross that finish line with the six of wands oh i just heard i will survive <laughs> i will survive the sun in reverse more leo energy underneath that if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel i would greatly 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 appreciate it in your energy let's get some moon messages this is my personal deck you could purchase these also on my website howling at the moon blue moon embrace strong emotions you may have been ignoring even if it feels a bit odd really ponder on what's important to you in life it's a wonderful time to follow your heart and deepest creative desires they're actually telling me to split them like this all right so this one yeah go after what you're passionate about right now virgo that's what it's saying some of y'all need to get to writing that's what i'm hearing some of y'all need to get to writing or put the pen to the to the paper that's what i'm hearing whether you draw paint uh, write music, uh, color, artist, whatever it is, writer, teacher, or a student. There's something about putting the pen to the paper and just letting things flow. But with this howling at the moon, like I said, somebody is really in pain. Somebody is really, really in pain, whether that be you or this person. Okay, and then in the mutual energy, unbothered. You have to let the past go, Virgo. You have to let the past go. That's the only way to break those contracts, okay? Ooh, yep, cleanse and purge. You gotta release the old so that if you ever come back to a point in time where you meet these people, these opportunities, whatever again, it's a brand new contract and it's a fresh, clean slate. Unbothered. I'm going to get one of these cards i think this is the heal yourself card show me one card serendipity merge with the flow yep just go with the flow virgo do what you gotta do day in day out positive mind and things are gonna start rolling in okay that is what i have for you my lovelies 
I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much, and I will talk to you soon.